All right, what's going on guys? So just wanted to run through the new software that we're using to do our comping and find deals. It can be used for both, whether or not you're looking for a deal, which is I think what its main purpose is, but also comparative market analysis or CMA on leads that you have coming in for us. Obviously we're doing our own lead generation and have uh, lead generation for other investor clients and are able to deliver a motivated seller opportunities. If you haven't already, you can check the videos in our page that talk about that and what we do for that if you're interested. This is just going to kind of go through a quick demo of what it looks like for a copying situation on a lead that's already come in. So one of two ways, Privy, you can go kind of reverse engineer your deal through their software, or if you've already got leads from motivated sellers that are coming in, you can kind of see really, you know, what your exit strategy would be and if it's a good deal or not you know, depending on what. So been texting back and forth with this guy for a while, you know, and finally going to get him on a call. I, I believe you're pretty soon. So we'll start with this one because this is a hot one here. So I'm going to copy this and go into Privy here. Okay. Then what you're going to do is either search for the area. In this case, I've got a specific lead I want to look at and view it here. So what it's going to do is pull public record data or straight from the MLS data. In this case, it hasn't been sold, you know, for a while. So there isn't really any lost data. Last time it sold was 5th of February back in 2010 for 555. You've got all of the information here and then we'll go right into the comps. So what's cool about the portion here is that I can look at specific activity. I can look at rentals. You know, if it's, if we're going to, if that's our exit strategy, I can take a look at the rental. I can look at specifically, let's look at all activity for the investors. And if I just wanted to take a look at any of the activity here. So right now, this is just the active, just normal on market stuff and kind of seeing what's sold. What I wanted to kind of show you, which I thought was really cool is because we're going to be most likely trying to find deals that are fix and flip opportunities or to wholesale, let's see what the other investors have done. And we've got one right here, you know, it's across the 56, but I know this area and everything is pretty much, you know, within kind of the same area that crossing the 56 is not a big deal in this area and so i'm gonna actually take a look at this one and when you click it here it'll pull it up okay this sold earlier this year just under two million and we're gonna see it's close to our bed bath counts one more bed one more bath a little higher on the square footage but i just kind of want to see kind of what it would take to do a flip in this area because this is that this is a fairly upscale part of town and so I'm kind of wanted to see, like, when I plugged in the numbers here, because it does show you what it's purchased for. If you scroll down here, you've got all your, you know, information that you're going to want to see for the area. But when you go here down to the before and after, unfortunately, we don't have any before photos, which would have been really nice. Um, but we'll, we'll do our best to kind of see what, that what they did. You can see the purchase price and the end sale price. You can see how long it takes. So this is a quick flip. Okay, which is what, what I thought before looking at that when I saw, you know, it's pretty decent outside, in good shape. Okay, now, so looks like, you know, didn't really do anything with the flooring, probably a paint job. Okay, flooring looks pretty much original, didn't do anything with that. Now, okay, redid a kitchen, definitely put some backsplashes. Now, I can't really tell from the resolution of these photos whether or not, I mean, these, these could be brand new. Everything looks pretty much new in there, but you can see nothing done with the floors. Kitchen's really the only thing. All this stuff's wasn't really touched. Okay, maybe in the washroom, but you can see fireplace, you know, original. Any bathrooms don't look like they were really done. These are probably in good shape, you know, but yeah, all looks like pretty much original here, not touched. So this is why I wanted to kind of run through this specific one because I did take a, a brief look at it before and then when back out here, I'll just go back to the subject property. Because if I were to plug this into my deal analyzer with the, with the specific numbers from this flip, right? What did we purchase it for? 1.52. I think that's what I put it in there. And 1.985. Now this was based off of the 3,900 square feet, almost almost 4,000 square feet at $45 a square foot, which is, you know, it, it, 
might be a little higher if you're going to do a full uh, a full flip in that area just because of the higher price points. But to me, with the days on market, you know, it's 14 and the you can just tell. I mean, like, I think the kitchen was really the only thing that was touched um, with the exception of maybe the paint, you know. So, I mean, with that, you know, maybe looking at 30 to 40, you'll say 35,000. Okay. I mean, these numbers are, are crazy, crazy. Must have been a really distressed situation. What's cool about this too is that you can go into public records. Maybe, maybe there's a foreclosure. What was the issue here? So, any deeds, mortgage history. So you've got all of that information on this comp to give me an idea of what it would take. So it doesn't really look like if you can get it at a, at a decent amount here, don't have to do the full reno. I mean, it doesn't have to have those like really, you know, high spec finishing touches. I mean, obviously that, that kitchen was to dressed to the nine. So we don't have to like go in, rip out all the carpet, put new flooring in, you know, do the bathrooms. Bathrooms are pretty much the same. So that was kind of cool to see. And so don't have any pictures yet of this, this property, but I can, you know, I can kind of get a feel for what I would need to put into this property just based on kind of what's already been done. Now, another thing too, is what we can do is exit out of the investor reactivity. And now I've got a kind of a full picture here of all of just the normal comps that have been sold. And I mean, you've got sold, you got what's on market now. You know, you've got your subject property line here and even rental information, which is really nice. So we can see here kind of price per square foot increases as the square footage increases. And if you wanted to, this is on market now, these are sold, these are rentals. So this one's pretty close. What do we got here? Which one is this? This one's a little bigger than ours. I mean, this is the best comp right here. Just sold two weeks ago. I can kind of run backwards. Now through this deal based off of all of the information I've got in one place, if I wanted to take a look at this one, I can't. And then I can just dig into that, kind of see where, where this one's at as far as the spec, you know, kitchen, original. Now I know kind of where the renovation would be you know, where innovation costs would be at these price points. And that's r really good news. I can negotiate into this property at a decent price. Well, now I know if I've got better, I've got the, the specs a little higher on this renovation on the subject property, you know, it might be going for a little higher. Now market's slowing down. So, you know, conservatively, maybe coming at the same one, but you kind of get the picture really a really full picture of your analysis. Hope that kind of helped you. That was kind of on a specific property. I can definitely do another video and show you what it would look like. We we're going to be searching for deals off market through Privy and not getting the leads of actual motivated sellers from our lead gen. So I hope that was helpful and uh, it wasn't too rambly, but Privy has, you know, been really beneficial and really helpful here. So we're, we're really liking it. We'll link our affiliate code below. You can use that to sign up and uh, get some really good stuff through that. So hope you all enjoyed that. Talk to you soon.